Jacob, th this book is really fantastic um, and such a quick read, but one of the most shocking stories in the book uh, involves a conversation you say you had with former DHS spokesperson Katie Miller, who's now married to the architect of the separation policy, Stephen Miller. Her colleagues sent her to the border, hoping she'd somehow soften her stance once she saw these tragic separations firsthand, like you uh, saw. But she told you, quote, it didn't work, and added, if you come to America, you should assimilate. Why do we even need uh, to have little Havana? What went through your mind when you heard that? Was that the mindset behind this entire policy in a nutshell? I think so. I mean, uh, honestly, Sonny, my immediate reaction was I said to her, are you a white nationalist? I was there with my colleague and my friend Katie yeah. Turr, uh, who sat up in her chair because I asked that to her. Uh, and that's when she said the comment about, no, you should assimilate. Um, and why do we have little Havanas? And to hear that, it's almost like saying the quiet part out loud. You know how people say that? And when she said that to me, mm -hmm. it was so shocking, but it instantly made it so clear to me that that's where this was coming from within this administration, despite the best efforts of people who care about the humanity of the children. And that's what this is about. It doesn't matter what political party you're in, who cared about the fact that, and what these parents even did, the fact that children were being traumatized for life, and that's the reaction. It said to me, uh, in a nutshell, that's where this is coming from. Wow. Well, we should note that White House uh, Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany is disputing uh, this account. Oh. <coughs> she is. Of course and you know, she is. If I, if I so, could just say, uh, or, or go ahead, Joy. Go ahead, Joy. Yeah. No, go ahead. You go. Uh, look, it, I just want to say, yeah, they're disputing it. Guess what else they disputed? Kirsten Nielsen, the Secretary of Homeland Security at the time, said there's no family separation policy, period. There's a tweet. It's still online. Go look it up today. I was just on Twitter. Probably shouldn't be looking at Twitter uh, during the commercial. But the truth of the matter is those tweets are still there. <laughs> and she denied it. And I saw it with my own eyes, you know. Uh, so I, if you want to believe yeah. them, don't forget. They weren't telling us the truth then. And it's not the truth now. Right. They should all be ashamed of themselves. So Katie Miller is now Vice President Pence's press secretary. So she's a key player on the coronavirus task force. In fact, many of the key officials in charge of the separation policy are now in charge of coronavirus response. So they had no plan then, and they have no plan now. Is anyone ever going to be held accountable for what they are doing to this country and to these children? How could this happen to this country? It makes me sick. Go ahead, Jake. I, cer I, certainly, I certainly hope so, Joy. And when you look at the fact that some of the key players are still involved with the coronavirus uh, task force and response, it just gives me, it gives me no faith. I mean, it gives me no faith uh, in what the White House is doing on this. And that's because I saw the way these same people acted around family separations. Kirsten Nielsen, I write in the book, was warned by her general counsel in a memo that hasn't been published before, but is for the first time in the book, that the separations would violate the constitutional rights potentially of the migrants coming to this country and several American laws. She signed it into place anyway. Scott Lloyd, the guy who was the uh, head of the Office of Refugee Resettlement, technically the parental guardian of these children uh, in the legal terms of the government, um, uh, considered destroying the list, uh, getting rid of the list of separated children when it leaked to the New York Times. That's the thinking uh, that went into this. Uh, like I said, and I, I want to say it over and over again, despite the best efforts of heroes within the government to try to stop this from happening. It's crazy, and it's not over. Everybody should remember it's still happening. Our thanks to Jacob yep. Soberoff. His new book, Separated, is available right now in book form and in Audible.